How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the demo for Rose of Star Cross, a game that I've been meaning to check out for a little while now. Uh, the dev had reached out to me and just said like, hey, I think that this sort of game looks like something that you would like and that your audience would like. And immediately I saw it and said, yes, yes, it does. It does look great. Sorry, I'm just using my phone as a way to confirm that the stream is up and running. It's something I've been meaning to play for a while. Uh, I just have been bad about making the time to make sure I'm actually playing it. Looks like th things are all good. Uh, and I figured, hey, maybe a good idea would be to sit down, do a stream of it, and just do it all at once. It's The, the demo is somewhere like a, uh, an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. We can just play through the whole thing together right here, right now. And then, yeah, we can, just, we can just have that all done. Everything in the demo is subject to change improvement, not fully indicative of the game's final quality. Uh, it's the earliest pre-alpha playable bit build. So there might be a few placeholder assets, things like that. A Kickstarter is coming in November, so this is like an early preview, even pre-Kickstarter. Uh, so that's something that's coming up around the corner there. So if, yeah, you like the game, then go check out Payton Burnham on, on Twitter there. You can follow them and, and get some updates about when the Kickstarter actually goes live next month. So it's like around the corner here. So if you like what you see, then yeah, it's something, something to keep in mind. We'll stick it on normal, normal difficulty. I don't see any need to deviate from that. The opening scenes in the first dungeon have been altered for the demo version of the game to introduce the main gameplay mechanics and story at a consistent pace and more timely manner. The full version has a longer intro and heavier emphasis on exploration. It can take a good bit longer to finish as it's much more open-ended for those looking to hang out, poke around, and get lost or whatever. Which version would you like to play? Oh, let's... I didn't realize there was a possibility to go with the full version. Oh, that's very interesting then. So you, you have the possibility of the full thing being made open to you. Let's do the demo. Let's just do the demo and save the full version for when, like, the full game's available. For then, then we're not, like, spoiling things or whatever. We can just mess around, enjoy the game, and, and be introduced to it at a, a nice, like, casual pace. Oh, okay. There, there, I already like that there's um, at least eight different directions of movement, so there's nice detailed art going on there. <laughs> I like that you, like, close your eyes and clench up when you jump a little bit. There's, like, some cute reaction going on there. I need to do my due diligence and just make sure that things are broadcasting the way they're supposed to. It looks good. It, well, it, I don't know. It's serviceable. The, the game is working. Uh... I was just surprised no one had jumped in to the chat so far. That could be because I literally just streamed a different game for an hour, like, 30 minutes ago. Maybe YouTube doesn't like when you jump around from game to game and stream to stream like that. Not good. Not good to walk into the fire pit. I kind of would have guessed, but I thought maybe it would be, like, a save checkpoint or something. Oh, I guess I could have tried to act next to it. Act, act, nothing, can't do it. Oh, and run. Run, run is a toggle, too, so I don't have to hold down the run button. I might as well just let that do its thing rather than try it. Like, I, I might as well just always run. What was that? Someone someone coming for a visit? Nope. No, totally ruined the bridge. Oh, it's just encouraging me, encouraging me to jump. I have to fight an evil pumpkin? Maybe he's not evil. He's on fire, so I thought he was evil, but he's also smiling. I got way higher that time. Dude, but you also blasted the bridge. Did you see, Jim? This has to be the most complicated mini fridge ever made. Will you two shut up? We're trying to watch the movie we paid to see. Tonic, remind me about that rude man later. Hey, uh, could I please get my drink now? It's very loud out here today, huh? Tonic, yeah? We're going over to talk to the witch. Why? Can we get food? I can't think with all these interruptions. Plus, we need a second opinion. Can we get food? Yeah, I'm starving. All right. Excuse me, I ordered my drink five minutes ago. Ah, oh, geez, I almost forgot. Tonic, pause that before we leave. I don't want to miss anything. Okie dokie. The pausing the movie? <laughs> we just totally blew off, or they blew off, whoever. They just fast forwarded it straight through the end. <laughs> Why? What the heck? There we go. Paused. <laughs> Close enough. It accomplishes the same thing from their perspective, at least. Immediately, very creative character designs going on in like a very lively seeming world. 
that one guy's watching the movie on like his hands and knees. I don't know what's going on there. That guy, there's like ghosts and people made of crystal and like a floating pumpkin and whatever these like, I don't know, I hesitate to call them demons, but then there's also like robot looking things. There's a crazy range of things happening all at once here. It's a lot to take in. It's a very expansive seeming world, holy. Oh, it might have skipped through that just because of the, the demo. So, are you in school? I bet you're happy about summer vacation. Did you come up here today for all the fun fair stuff? I came to see the sword. Oh, fun. Do you like history? Nah, just a cool sword. It's a good thing school's out then. And I think it's pretty cool too. We're lucky there's basically no one in line today. Looks like I'll be getting home a little earlier than I thought. Are there a lot more people normally? More than anything, it depends on the day and if there are any special deals going on. But yes, I do wonder why there are less people actually trying to pull up the sword today. Do you know what's one thing I may have done? I may have not made the stream public. I've done that before. The stream is running, it's operational, it's not properly public. I think I have it, I think it's going good. It's at least <laughs> visible to people. So yes, this is fine, we can carry on. I don't know why there are less people actually trying to pull up the sword today. Especially weird since we had so many people up here. Because all the old people who actually think they can do it don't want to be up here with all us teenagers. And all the dads don't want to bring their families on busy days. Yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. Are YouTube just getting pictures? I love this kind of stuff. We're here for the whole deal. It's fun. I want to see all the fair stuff I heard about. And I can't leave without her. You love the pictures. All you do at home is scroll through your pictures. <laughs> I love how cool it gets up here when the sun starts going down. It's nice that the noise starts to die down too around this time. Has it always been this? I, no, I like it too. Yeah. Nearly there. Visera is rotating her wrists and stopping to wipe her palms on her dress every couple of seconds. Do you do this a lot? You look nervous. Me? I'm fine. It's just a little hard to know if anything is different. Welcome! Alright. Hi, Donnie. <laughs> Miss Visera. I cut him off from his little spiel. Oh, thank the queen. This day is over. You weren't nearly as busy today as you normally are. Why so dramatic? Turns out slow days last forever, and everyone that was up here I knew from school. It was awful. I'm sorry. We'll make it easy on you. So you don't mind skipping the routine? Thank you. I'll make sure everything is in order before I leave. You're the best. I don't want him to have to go through that long intro again. Okay, normally they give you a copy of the tape after the speech, so let's find one of those. Here we are. And next, do you want to do the beast fight? I think it's kind of fine, fun to chop up the poster and block the tennis balls. Yeah, let's chop. <laughs> okay, then let's grab you one of these. Here you go. This or I handed you one of the plastic pink swords from the pile. Now, let me see this, uh, set the stuff up and get out of your way. Oh, so there is like, uh, you don't do your battles like live in the overworld. There are like cutaways, but I don't know if they're turn-based or, or action-based. Poster of the beast appeared. I am scary. Wow, boy. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Very terrifying. So I have to charge up, it seems, and then attack. I choose to attack him. Press the display button at the right time to charge your attack. Sounds good. Bam, bam, bam. Nice big wind up. I'm always curious to see. Okay, so there's... There's a word for this. It's not it's not turn-based. It's like real-time turn-based or real... There's, so, there's a different word for it where it's like uh, you might get to attack twice in a row if your like speed is fast enough or whatever. So it's not necessarily tur taking turns. You can defend enemy attacks by blocking left, up left or right. You can hold your block by holding the button. Let's give you a second to try it out. Blocking seems simple enough. I, well, no, I'll block forward. Oh, I like the stance, actually. Her forward block, she, like, ducks back. I almost bucked my headphones off doing that. All right, let's give it a try, then. Nice. Blocking in the correct direction will reduce damage by 50%. However, blocking right before the attack lands will result in zero damage. Let's try it in action. 
Okay, I gotta try and wait for it to... Aww. Oh, that, that, that was good. That was like a good... Oh, it's zero damage either way, though. Was it never actually gonna properly do attack damage? Presumably, it's not always A. It moves pretty fast. It might be difficult to try and pull off any other kind of uh, attack move combo other than A. I don't know if there's always gonna be like a nice handy just like bar that fills up that tells me exactly when a, an attack is gonna happen. Like maybe when I fight a real live actual monster, it won't be made so simple to gauge the timing. I'll have to keep a much better eye out. And I should be able to finish him off easily. Maybe it is always A. Love to see play more and see. You won. Nice work, hun. Okay then, let's get up there. If you don't mind, I think I'll take my turn first. Mostly so you can see how not to hurt your back. You'd be very surprised how many people do that. I'm also feeling really good tonight. It's a beautiful day. I got to know a really cool new friend. Everything seems all right. And it would be pretty cool if I got it and I could take your picture holding it up, right? You hear Viscera take a deep breath and let it out so slowly. <sighs> would you mind holding my ring? Don't want to pinch myself again. Viscera handed you her ring. Ready? Um, muster up all your strength. I don't really trust that everyone uses the wipes when they're done with pictures. I wouldn't either. People are gross. You can hurt yourself if you go all out right away. So you want to kind of build it up and ease into it. But hopefully, you won't have to, right? Ready? Stand back and watch, okay? Is this like a only like an Excalibur? Like only one person out there can do it? Or did she just move it a little bit? Oh, <laughs> she's charging up like a Super Zed. <sighs> oh, she's going for a second pull. <laughs> Okay, she went all out there. All right. Your turn. I'll get down there to take your picture. Oh, it's, I guess that you just don't want to do like a clean and jerk huge pull. You're going to rip out your shoulders or something. Blast your sockets. Ready? Look how strong you look. Let's see a good pose on three. One. Two. And is it just going to swing right out of the rock? Oh, did it teleport me? Oh, crap. <laughs> well, then. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it's gone. Hey, we as a character actually have uh, dialogue. I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. Don't walk off the path. The path is good. But can I jump into this? Oh, I totally can. Uh, it just doesn't seem to do any good currently. Nothing, nothing to be like explored if I venture out a little bit at this point. I, I'm just, uh, I'm so used to the silent protagonist, you know, in, in, in RPGs and stuff. That I was a little surprised that I get to talk. Oh, this is like a bouncy. I just thought it would be fun to jump in what looked like a bush or a pile of leaves or something. It turns out that's like legit what I was supposed to do. Oh, the 3D environment that you get to like uh, work within is very cool. Okay, did I miss something up there? Might just be an excuse to, like, explore and test out your abilities and practice navigating this, like, 3D space. That's very satisfying, actually. I'm not used... Another thing I'm not used to that this game is bringing is this ability to, like, work up and down these 3D platforms and everything in, uh, like, a 2D pixel space like this. A fire skull anim appeared. He gets the first crack. Okay, I, I, I have to actually, like, prepare for it. It's not going to have, like, a nice indicator for me. Special is the only thing I got. Double strike, 1 MP, perform a normal attack, then attack again by holding a direction, plus pressing the button. So, attack, and then attack again? You can see a weak spot in the enemy's defense. Interesting. So, hold the direction and press to send out another attack in the direction you're holding. So do I want to attack coming left or coming right to get the defense? Enemies will only take damage if you attack their shield's weak side. Hold left and press A. So if I hold left, uh, that means I'm attacking across from the left. It's kind of counterintuitive maybe a little bit because I need to attack the right side, but I'm swinging the sword to the left to make that happen. There we go. 
yeah, so it makes sense. I, I just might have to wrap my head around that a little bit when it comes up to make sure I adequately... He's just stunned. Really messed him up there. <laughs> he never expected. Who's this? Who's my helper buddy who came in for the special? Oh, it was the sword. The sword has, like, a spirit or something that jumped in that to help out. That's very cool, actually. That's, like, fun. It's a very fun battle mechanic. But it did use one of my uh, MPs, so I gotta be gotta be careful about that. I gotta try and block. Oh damn it! I missed that one totally. I was trying to block even more last minute than previously. Here I have more. I'll go with the special again. I'll do, I'll do the special again. Do a regular attack, and then will it pause for a second so I can see what side? Oh, I think I had to hit A. I botched that one because I didn't hit A. No, okay, it, it like retreats back and I have time to like think through it. I don't have to do that as like a quick time event. There we go, and I got that one off just in time. No, this time I can get away with just doing a regular attack for sure. Nice, you won, six gold, efficiency bonus, two gold. Okay, so it pays to, to go hard, I guess. <laughs> That's a very satisfying uh, battle mechanics. I dig it. I don't know if I've played anything directly like it. It's very strange because I've just started playing Other, Her Loving Embrace, another actively running Kickstarter RPG pixel game that, again, has a completely unique battle style. I think games have realized, hey, if you just keep mimicking Undertale entirely, your game doesn't stand out as much. So I'm glad to see uh, games coming up with unique things and not just doing typical like Final Fantasy turn-based combat because I personally get bored of that sometimes or even like what you see in mother or earthbound i get bored of it over time i like i like this more action-based combat style rest equip rings i might still have the one i got from viscera blocking a normal attack slightly replenish your mp oh wait that's really handy handed it to you before you, she tried to pull up the sword equip cost is one so i'm guessing it, it could cost up to five or whatever and it could occupy more slots Rest. Well, you can tune in as well. I should try and tune in. Uh, oh, that's the sword. The sword went and, like, turned off the TV for me, I think. I gotta try that again. It's kind of interesting. You, like, befriend the spirit of the sword, it seems like. I'm sure that the full game gives more context to that. What happens when... This is when I tune in. Get some updates about DC TV world. Welcome back, my fine folks, my delicious demons, and my perfect people. They are demons. I thought they looked like demons, but I didn't want to be presumptuous. Today, we have a very interesting guest with us. Viscera, it is absolutely thrilling to meet a human of your reputation in person. And hopefully, you've brought with you some information regarding the incident in the mountain. Thank you so much for having me on. And yes, that's exactly why I needed to come on your show. Do you know what? I just... I keep having these uh, thoughts pop into my head about ways that I maybe need to manage the stream better that I haven't like set it up properly or whatever. I'm overthinking things. I think it's fine. And yes, that's exactly why I needed to come onto your show. As you all know by now, two nights ago, a little girl vanished on the top of Mount Starcross. Her name is probably Rose. <laughs> I've been looking for her ever since, but I haven't found anything at all. Not even anyone who's looking for her. So I'm here to say, hold up there. Yes. We brought you here to tell us about the Queen's Blade that vanished. What happened to the sword? What does that mean for the people of Starcross? Well, yes, the sword also vanished, but first and foremost, there's a life at stake. Well, all I mean is that both are very important. And I'm sure they're both in the same place. Oh yes, very good. Wonderful to hear that you have everything under control. Hey there, Signified. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, sure. As I was saying, I made a lot of these flyers out of all my contact information. There's a picture of the girl here, too. Yes, let's see the little tyke. Of course. That was neat. They got, like, magic. They can just summon it up. Uh, just look at this little baby, folks. That special, so ugly, it's cute, coupled with the heartbreaking tragedy of losing our beacon of hope. Truly fantastic. Ahem. <clears throat> I've been putting these up everywhere I can, so please tell me if you know anything about this girl. And if you're watching this, girly, I promise you everything... Well, that's all the time we have, folks. 
Stay stylish, my friends, and don't forget to stay tuned for the commercial break. We've only been... Everyone just cuts each other off in this world. <laughs> really, that is how it works, though. People talk over each other all the time. The two of you are just like, oh, Jesus. Maybe we should take care of this. Seems like no one else other than Viscera is really planning to help us, are they? Looks like it's still up and running. Vend or examine. All the labels are mismatched or something. Other than that, it seems to be in fine working order. Vend, I only have eight bucks. I could buy a purple map. Looks like a map of the area. Seems to have some important info on it. There's also a couple colas, a crimbly <laughs> uh, marshmallow treat that heals you. The DC cola recovers MP. I have a compass. Banded ring, a purple banded ring with a compass on it. Only works with its matching map, so it would have to be for this one. Reveals chest locations on the map. Very Zelda-like, I, I dig it. A spin attack ring, T ring. Uh, I should I should read a little bit more about them, actually. Spin attack can be used to attack a cluster of four enemies at once. That's going to be interesting when I fight multiple enemies at once. Just in general, whether, whether I have this or not. Just in the game, that's going to be interesting. Calms the spirit when you faint in battle. The spirit will not drop any items when returning you to a safe place. Nice. Maybe it only works once, though. Health hazard. Let's you see the health hazard taunt in bottle. Use, not see. I, I thought maybe it was letting me... I, I don't know what it was. I misread it, is all I'm saying. Using this taunt will funnel your remaining HP into your MP. Whoa. Slightly reduce enemy sight range and become completely unnoticeable when hiding in tall grass. That one costs two to equip. That's where the equip cost comes in. Radiating star pop. Increase max HP, MP, RP, ring points. Or leaf meter. So I, I, I could really beef myself up that. Uh, the purple map only costs five, so I think I, I might as well. And then I can take a quick look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so where's like the UR here on this map? So there's clearly, oh okay, wait, bottom, bottom center there, because you can see the spinning, the like blue lines in the map that match these spinning Mario flame traps or whatever. So I'm, I'm bottom center right now. You can see that little bridge right at the bottom there. I wish there was something on the map that showed that that's where I was, but I guess maybe that's, maybe I need the compass to properly have that. Whoa, how do I get up here? Is there... One of those uh, leaf things hidden out of sight that I can bounce on. Because one, there's like a fun tea set going on up there. But there's also that chest that I would like to interact with. If you're finding timing attacks blocking or special abilities tricky, talk to the scarecrow to the right and up those stairs for some low stakes trading and tips. I don't think I really need it, but he looks like an interesting character and I want to know more about him. Looks like a trading dummy. Pact practice, spirit punch or fight enemies. Let's practice Spirit Punch. That seems like a specific attack type or something I'd like to know more of. Oh, it looked like he, in, in the smaller version of the sprite, it looked like big full lips. He's got a tiny mustache. Hold the direction, press A to send out the spirit in the direction you're holding. Enemies will only take damage if you attack their shield's weak side. Yes. So, I, I can only really go at it the one way here. Oh, see, now, now, now I know. Now I know where the weak side is. So I have to hold down and hit? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. So if I hold the top side, no. How is this not working the way I'm meaning it to? See there I'm, I'm holding nothing, here I'm holding down. That's not at all what I was trying to do. Holding down. Okay, now, now it's changed though. Don't... It, he's just attacking from whatever damn side. That's not... Why are you just always coming from the same side there? There's something fishy that seems to be not working properly there. Jesus. Okay. I, I'm, I've misunderstood how to do this previously then. There we go. Okay, so first thing, attack, show where to, and then I have to... Then I have to hit the direction in A. That was kind of apparent the first time it introduced it. Kind of. But here, here now that I'm actually practicing it and getting to better understand precisely how I need to, to do that. It makes a lot more sense. There we go. So, I've learned that. Don't I don't need to know more. 
But I'm curious if he lets me fight enemies, if, I, if I'll earn experience or uh, items or anything. Money, even. Yo, how's it going, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Cassandra and Darkness. Uh, basically, it's a demo, so it's a lot of just... We pulled a sword out of a stone and it teleported us to this crazy world. Kind of just wrapping our way around the mechanics and things. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? It's Turnip Head. It might be a pumpkin. I don't really know exactly what his head is supposed to be. Training Scarecrow appeared. Oh, I, I managed to uh, fill that up just slightly faster than he did. Hey, Peyton. Hey, th the, this is the developer of the game. So you guys can all wish them well and let them know what you think of the game. Uh, I'm very much intrigued by like the art and, and battle mechanics and everything so far. I've been enjoying getting getting accustomed to it. Oh man, did I manage? Maybe he was never going to attack, but I, I, I really kind of crushed him. It seemed easier than I expected. Uh, I'll try three enemies. I haven't fought multiple enemies at once before, and so I'm kind of curious how difficult it'll be once I start taking on multiple enemies at once. I feel like it's going to be very uh, much more difficult to handle. Bam! Full counter. And I'm going to try... I should probably specifically try to target the one that is, like, nearest to attacking. Oh, there's, like, a full grid here. There's, like, six different spots. Yeah, the music's been really strong as well so far. I've, I've noticed that as well. So I want to try and take this guy out. And, oh, too much health. Too much health to take out in one move. But I get to go twice? Like, I got to do a special end and attack. I don't entirely understand why I got to go twice in that scenario. Like, I only, I didn't fill up my bar twice or anything. I'll see if it, I'll see if it works that way again. Maybe it has to do with, like, landing successful combos or something like that. It gives you an advantage to go a second time. So there was once, and immediately it lets me go again. Yeah, I don't, I don't exactly know. Maybe the temp could explain for us how that works out. I, it didn't, whoops. <laughs> I guess it's a training dummy, so it doesn't matter. That didn't seem to be how things were working when I was fighting other enemies. If I use a regular attack, I probably only go once. No, I always get to go twice. Maybe that's just... Maybe that's a balancing thing because of the fact that I'm fighting three enemies. It's like you would be so severely disadvantaged. Otherwise, that that balances things just the tiniest bit. Uh, unclear. But so far, it's working in my favor, so I can't complain. <laughs> You won, nice and simple. I feel I feel pretty comfortable with the battle mechanics at this point. I really do wish I could jump up to here. Uh, Turnip Head is a character from Howl's Moving Castle. He looks like that. Oh, Caitlin, you're the only person to catch that so far, says says Peyton. This guy is is Turnip Head? Howl's Howl's Moving Castle. I know I've heard of that. Uh, I'm not over, I'm not familiar enough with it to like, no. It's just, is it just like close to looking? Oh no, I've seen this before. Like I've seen this, a picture of this before, but I haven't actually seen the movie. This is like a Studio uh, Ghibli uh, character, isn't it? It's hard to see, but it's, I, I guess it doesn't come through very well there, but it's like a white, it's basically a white headed version of this and they both have bow ties. Yeah, it's like basically just like a recoloring of it. <laughs> Forgive me if I don't explain how certain things work. I just love watching people learn. And honestly, that's uh, probably one of the best things that Let's Plays have to offer to developers. So if you would rather see me, if the intention is that I should be able to figure it out on my own or whatever, then I won't take it personally if you choose to withhold. Can I land on this? Oh, crap, I can. Uh, well, let's explore out here a little bit more. The platforming is incredibly tight. Nice. I don't even know what's down below. I didn't even try to go there, and all of a sudden, I've gone up top here. That was interesting. It hovered a little skull above my head and, like, had the four triangles that it's kind of been using for, like, the block mechanics, or I'm pretty sure for the block mechanics. Can I climb leaves? If I can, it's not something I seem to currently be able to do. Maybe I have to, like, gain that ability. That's totally awesome that I... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, there, the skull came up above my head again then, too. So maybe that has something to do with, like, the number of times you fall off of a particular screen. Like, 
that first one was a freebie, but if you get four, you respawn or something. Like, it's... Oh, damn it, it was too slow on that one. <laughs> uh, that's cool, though. I, I think I kind of see what's going on there, even if I haven't specifically worked it out yet. It's like you... The game gives you a chance. You aren't, aren't, aren't automatically fully punished for, for missing your first jump. Max efficiency bonus. Nice, I wrecked that thing. I'm going to play around with that just to test. Yeah, see, now two, two have been filled up. Uh, I probably shouldn't push that too, too much. But if I leave the area and came back, it still stays at two. Okay, I'm glad it came back up as, a, as an additional prompt there. Because otherwise, otherwise I might have just got... Uh, wasted wasted one more. Oh shit, my bridge is gone. <laughs> That's risky. Oh. Hey, hey, Queenie. I don't know the sword spirit's name, I just realized. Right over here. Right this way, it seemed like, <laughs> seemed like they were doing. There's a smoggy air coming from the light, and you can hear a voice you recognize. Okay, that should do it for this corner. What in the queen's name happened to my store? Who put all these pictures on this ugly of this ugly kid on my windows? Oh, hello, I'm sorry. I was going to ask your permission to put these flyers up, but you were out. They're for the girl who went missing on Mount Starcross? I was hoping you wouldn't mind. Oh, I recognize you. You was that human lady who can use magic, huh? You was on TV the other night. Oh, now we know why she's like kind of famous. It was not described before. Yes, my name is Viscera. It's very nice to see you, sir. Meet, meet you? Uh, <laughs> well, let me tell you what's... Viscera. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing that name before. That's gross. It's a gross name you have, lady. <laughs> oh, well, actually... Well, let me tell you what's what, Viscera. I don't care who you are. I didn't build this store with my bare hands so folks could just waltz on in and use it as advertising space. In fact, you could say I didn't even build this store with my bare hands at all. I had my son build it. Okay, he did a very nice job, but I swear this isn't advertising. You saying you got more rights to this here establishment than my son? What? No, sir, I'm just trying to find this missing girl. How do you expect people to see all my wares when you got these ugly kids covering my windows? What if your son was the one that went missing? I would say good. I hate my son. You see the crap job you did building this place? What is your problem? My problem is I can't see out my freaking windows. <laughs> Brought it back around. And I got a useless son who can't even build a simple two-story gas station living space. Look, I really didn't mean to bother you. Oh, hold on, lady. Please, just let me keep these up until I find her. Ah, jeez. Mm, fine. Really? Thank you. As long as you buy something, yeah? And stop getting all teary-eyed. Okay. Can't have any more broads out here crying and making a scene in front of the store again. Okay. Do you have a coffee machine? Ah, we're getting, like, interesting glimpses into the other world there. <laughs> I, I, I was curious if this character could actually talk or if they were just going to turn and, like, react. Something about what you just heard. Put a light in the swords' eyes. So they might not actually attack. They might all just entirely, like... Whoa! It seems like a new power has been realized. You can select magic from the pause menu, set the sword's magic to whatever or R from the magic menu. Using magic in the overworld will not drain the sword's MP, so feel free to experiment. Oh, uh, there's a whole other layer to this now. There's like overworld puzzle solving to be done on top of everything else at this point. So, battle 40 damage to all enemies, or when I'm when I'm in like the regular world completely unclear what that does. We'll have to play around with it. If you ever need to relax, it's always nice to dip your toes in the water. That's a lie, I'm quite certain, but I would like to try. Maybe there's a way I can, like, skip across one there? Ooh! See, there's four triangles on the ground there, so I think that's telling me that's, like, a checkpoint, essentially. Oh, and that one has, like, a little star thing. So does that mean it's if I was standing there, no, it doesn't quite look like my, my magic skill, actually. They're not quite one and the same. 
But I think I need to dip in one more time. Oh, I should I should have maintained holding that direction. Oh, it just causes a fight to happen. Okay, that's an interesting trade-off then. You don't necessarily take damage. Uh, but you're it puts you at risk, I guess. I'm curious if I can still earn gold from this. It seems like you could farm battles this way. Undead appeared. He's slightly he's slightly faster than me. Bah! Oh, I can't tell. Did I not block that at all? Did that technically come in from the side? That wasn't, even though they ran forward, the side was like sideways, the attack was sideways. That might have been more complicated or more difficult to defend against than I had originally thought. I'm pretty good at nailing that. I, I seem to manage to pull that off quite well. So I think my multiple attack I don't know. I have no idea actually why that comes up. Oh, damn it. They totally motioned a different direction that time too. So I should have been able to like anticipate that or not necessarily anticipate, but I'll get better. Uh, that I love the witty funny dialogue. That interaction of the shopkeeper and the on the windows and the sun and everything was beautiful. That was like the exact kind of writing I love where it's not really jokey. It, like, is, and, but it, like, kept wrapping back around on itself. It was amazing. I hope I hope to see much more of that in the game. I still, you still get money from those battles. All right, so if I just spam jumping, nope. But if I, why did I skip on the water that one time I, like, stepped into it? Jump? Damn it. All right. I don't understand why that happened then. Why that time that I... Oh, you can see that the MP is, like, refilling. So you can see there's, like, an individual bar uh, under the first empty one there. Okay. This is not... <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to this. Nice. Managed to fill up my MP with that, though. Bah, damn you! <laughs> You're the trickery of the motions of their attacks. It keeps throwing me totally off guard here. Uh, I, better, I better try and take out this... As effectively as I can. Damn it, that was not a great combination. Didn't do anywhere near the max damage that I could have. Oh, if I would have, if I would have pulled that off more effectively, I probably could have finished him off. At least I'm a lot better at uh, defending against these skull attacks than I am anything else. And it helps me refill my MP. Damn it! So it, this thing swings to the side. It's the opposite of the side. It's going to attack from first I had, there's there's a pattern there that I need to learn and so far it has just been tricky I got a gun for this thing first this thing is giving me the most trouble ah, it wasn't wasn't the best timing and I should get an extra attack which I don't fully understand why but I'm gonna use it to take this guy out just have one less enemy to deal with I can't really afford to take damage again so I better make sure I'm doing the absolute best job damn it Poor timing, terrible timing. Whoa. You don't immediately go down to zero health. It, like, ticked down a little bit. I don't know if I could have busted out a heal in that time or something. The spirit took you back to a safe place after you fainted. Well, I could try and kind of explore a different area. I don't think I'll be able to go that way. Because it has those, like, fire things going on there. Couldn't... Couldn't jump out across that. That direction is just... Is this a training skeleton? Oh, I probably have to go up and all the way around. And that's how I get to this this treasure chest. He's hopping up on the, the higher platforms from the other side there. Dang. How much, how much gold am I sitting on? 22. Money. How much money? Whatever the currency in this game is known as. Item reimbursal. No items to recover. Okay. Vend. I can't afford the compass. I could do the spin attack, though. I want this. I want the spin attack. I want to have that uh, as, like, an open option for myself. So I don't have to go to a rest site to equip rings. I can do it. Nope, that's incorrect. <laughs> I immediately disproved it. So I, I have to go back here to, to equip the ring. There you go. Hopefully that gives me the, the leg up I need when fighting combinations of enemies. Groups of enemies like that. 
I like don't want to go back down that way and cross that bridge because I get stuck on the other side and don't really know what to do with myself that I don't necessarily know that I can go up this way. <sighs> well, I'll try and take out try and take out this guy first. Nah, let's try it. Group of up to four enemies, press the correct directions at the right time. Oh, so I better practice against a, a two-guy battle here, because otherwise this seems like it could be quite tricky. So I could get people in the back, too, if they were all lined up just right, but I only, I only need to worry about getting them. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, not quite what I was expecting. Much more difficult to pull off than my other attack options. 40 damage to all enemies? Yeah, let's just do that. Oh god, okay, I have to play little mini-games to pull off these. Luckily, I didn't fail. Maybe I could have done better. It could have done better, yeah, because it was supposed to be able to do up to 40. Damn. Okay. There's a lot to get used to here. Damn, I can't... Mm, I have yet to get used to that attack. The, the battles are quick. The attacks come in quick. To pull off your combos adequately is quick. Uh, this is like the simplest thing. A regular attack. I guess a regular attack would be the simplest thing. But otherwise... Man, I'm getting... Damn, dammer. You attack twice. Oh, damn it, that was a front one. It's the first time I did that, so I wasn't used to it. It makes so much sense all of a sudden. You attack twice because one is you and one is the sword spirit. That's all that's happening there, so that makes sense to me. I feel like I, I understand that in a, uh, in a way to a degree that I hadn't previously. So that's like a tag team thing. I'm summoning the spirit to come in and help me. And now this is the spirit's turn here, and that's when you can use magic and things. There we go. That makes a thousand times more sense. I should have figured that out sooner. What is this game? Never heard of it? It's wonderful, is what it is. <laughs> it's just a, a demo for a new RPG. It's going to have a Kickstarter next month, and it's just lovely. I'm going to skip that lower area, because I was just getting messed up down there. You can earn bonuses in battle. If your HP at the end of the battle is the same or higher than when you started, you get a healthy bonus. Defeating enemies in less turns will get you an efficiency bonus. Using magic in battle is the most effective way to deal with multiple enemies or powerful enemies quickly. MP can always be recovered by taunting. It can also be recovered with items and rings that you equipped at comfort stations. Okay. That gives us a, a little bit more to think about. Maybe how we manage... Well, he was looking the wrong way, so I plan to just run straight past him. <laughs> I don't want to get messed up too hard, you know? Does that look like I could land on it, maybe? Nah. There's a bit of a risk. It seems like a dead end. I'll fight him. I'll get the, I'll get the gold. I guess I don't necessarily know that it's going to be one enemy. Damn, of course it isn't. Of course it isn't. Uh, now I really have to... Well, these things, I, dealing with them is not even difficult. It's dealing with the damn tall skeleton thing here that really messes me up. Damn you! That wind-up should be way more obvious in revealing, like, where this thing is planning to attack from. It still manages to get me every time. It happens, just happens so fast, you know? I guess we're just so in sync. The two of us are so in sync that both of our things come to... Yes! Oh, finally, for the first time ever, I defended one of these stupid things. Me and the me and Sword Spirit are just soulmates, you know? That's why we're able to do stuff at the exact same time. Why both of our abilities charge up at the same time. Oh, it's gonna get one more on me. Too fast! <laughs> Too bad at it. This is the hardest enemy in the game. Nothing will ever get harder than that. 14, 14 gold is decent. It's a decent payday. But not sure if it's worth as much damage and everything as I ended up taking. I'd like to attempt to heal. Nice. That seems like... Hmm. Was I down to one health only? Jesus. I really needed that more than I realized. There's money in the chest. 30. It's all in change and there's no quarters. You understand why this was left here. It's just like entirely dimes and nickels then? That really is terrible. Ah. Oh, just barely. You really gotta jump at the absolute last second to pull that one off. Mm. 
I don't know how to jump that high, so I guess I'm just kind of stuck in this battle. Uh, it's just one by itself. I should be able to deal with this, no problem. I wonder if he, if that was some sort of surprise attack or something. The way that this enemy got to get basically a near immediate attack on me. Uh, yeah, his, his thing was just like a half a second away from filling up when that battle started. I got a healthy bonus and a max efficiency bonus. Oh, this is a laser, but also a way across. So that's that's how I do that. But now I'm stumped. Jump doesn't work. <laughs> Reminds me of Undertale, but different enough to keep it interesting. Yeah, it's it's definitely got like plenty of its own unique flair going on here. There's, it very much appears to stand out on its own. I legit do not see how to get across here. I am at a loss. I can't like climb up to the waterfall or anything, I presume. No, and I knew that was gonna incite a battle. Oh, it's a tricky one too, Jesus. I'm gonna get roughed up here. Oh, and I was too slow on that. <laughs> it's not going well. All right, this is so damn difficult. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, but there isn't like a window that you have to fit within. It's the way that your regular attack has the precise area and then an acceptable area. That one is just a nice broad area to work within. So it's a little bit easier to deal with. Catch! Oh, jeez. Okay, so it's not... It's not even... Oh, I charged it up before, so it wasn't even the same as it was the time before. It, like, plays out different mini games, which is super interesting. Ah! Oh, I defended in the right direction, but I was just too slow on it. Jeez, I'm getting mangled out here. Just... Just brutal. <laughs> I would say it's not going well. Uh, I assume I still have my, my money. So I, I'm gonna check on this again. But jeez, this is a tough, tough go for me. I'll get the compass so I can find treasure more easily. I should probably buy this to have with me since I... It gleams with gratitude. It's almost as if, it's, as if it wants to say thank you for your purchase. Well, thank you for offering the goodies for me then. Where are we seeing the chests on the map? It doesn't seem to be showing me. Right, I have to I have to equip the ring for it first. I would like I think I would like if the decision to choose if you want to rest or equip rings came right here as soon as you hit L. This like five second scene transition just to equip a ring and then going back out of it again. Not a fan of that. It seems like a very strange time waster. I'm not really sure what that's for, what good that's doing. I don't really see chests marked on the map. I see there's like glowing things in the corners of the map that I have to like solve something slightly different for each corner. Like I, I never figured out how to cross the water in the bottom left there. I died trying to go to the top left. Play around with it for a little bit longer and see what else is going on out here. <sighs> Trying to avoid that. Didn't feel totally necessary to take on essentially the same battle for the dozenth time. I blocked in the wrong direction. Someday, someday I'll figure it out. Not quite, not the best. There's, there's like different artwork for getting attacked from different sides and everything. Like, the level of unique, the amount of unique art there needs to be for every different enemy. In addition to just, oh yes, I finally blocked a side attack. In addition to pretty complex attack animations and everything is very standout and impressive. Like, god damn, this game has so much going on. It's wildly impressive. Finally, I don't I don't expect out of nowhere suddenly I'll be able to defend 100% of the attacks that this thing throws at me But at least it's not gonna mess me up so totally 
14 bucks. Might as well try and go up this, this side again. I wish I knew how to cross those leaves. Seems like that would be worthwhile. Oh, I gotta make, gotta make this jump. I was worried I was gonna blow it. Damn it. <laughs> it's not, it's not, uh, not going very well there, is it? Try and lure this guy aside. I have no idea how to get up there. I don't really see. Not sure if the upper left of the screen is covered, but you can, oh, uh, good. Okay, good. I'm not, uh, I just, it just occurred to me. I was like, crap, do I have my face covering something important on the screen for people? Press the top face button, triangle on PS4 to turn on the icons. Oh, when I have the map open. Okay, okay. It's, I thought it would be like an automatic thing, but I'll have to, as soon as this battle is open, I'll have to open that up and, and give that a look-see. Don't forget you can run. Oh, I had I had run turned on. It must have been as soon as I... Oh, it would be so much easier to jump when you're running, wouldn't it? Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah, it toggles run off when you, when you die, <laughs> I guess. So when I look at the map... Oh, there it is. My face is slightly covering it. There's a thing telling me that the top button, Y on the Xbox controller, toggles, toggles things. Oh, there is a lot to be found around here, isn't there, then? Cool. Okay. I guess, I guess maybe you wouldn't always want that off, or on, I mean. So the ability to toggle it is probably, probably nice to have then. Jump, and I do not know how to reach this next layer. This is where I'm feeling a bit stumped. I can't, I can't see how I would get on top of the moving platform. But obviously I need to do something to get over to the other side where there's the stairs there and then jump up on that platform. Magic? Damn it. That's not good. There's like the four tri or diamond thing here, so I thought that was significant in some way. That like I want to make a battle happen while I'm in this area. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't, I haven't figured out if that really means anything. Or if it's anything I need to keep an actual eye out for, you know? Definitely going for the attack everyone thing. Okay. Figured that one out a little bit. And now I'm gonna swap out and use the magic. Okay. Seems to... At, at the bare minimum, there's a too many games. Ah, oh, damn it. They both touched me, so... Reduces the amount of damage you can deal with that. Bah! It's such a fake out. <laughs> it shouldn't be as effective as it is, like, but nearly every time. Ah, still took the half damage on that one. You bugger. There's no point using the magic here, I think. Probably just a regular attack. It's a big blow. Yes, the top-down one is the easiest one to see what's happening. The whole left-right swish-swish that the character does is much harder to anticipate. I've only blocked it once or twice effectively ever. So, that didn't do anything. The way I thought there was like a ever so slight chance that maybe that would be the case. A run and jump is not long enough to... Nah, it would not cover that sort of distance. Not what I'm... Not what I'm trying to do. I'm at three and a half hearts. I guess my head in the stream is right in the way. Four and a half. So yes, that does heal one heart. There's just not really like fanfare to go along with it. It's just a simple little heal. And what was there over this way? Because I already tried to go this way once and I'm already kind of forgetting. Good. I didn't want to take on that battle. I did just want to run past it. More of these leaves. Is that... I don't think I can jump that kind of distance. That seems... It seems like too much. I'll give it a try. If I go at like some angle... Pfft, no. <laughs> it was a terrible jump attempt. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, you can leap right over him! Ah! <laughs> oh, damn it, he can chase me. Oh! 
using the magic on the symbol. Should have figured that out sooner. I think I tried to use the magic somewhere else and it didn't work. And then I kind of forgot to continue testing out that ability. Yes, thank you. That is valuable information. I was about to backtrack and go try. I didn't even know. I didn't even have an idea. Just went messing around with things. And it should have made so much sense. It gave me the magic ability, and then like one second later, there was a square on or diamond on the ground to use it, like immediately next to where I first earned the ability. So I probably should have been able to. Oh damn it! I wasn't expecting it to move in columns like that. I thought I would have more free, free range of motion in how I controlled that. So that was my bad. Now I know. Learning curve. That's a learning curve I have not figured out still. I, I Maybe that doesn't fill up my MP the way I thought it did. I thought those perfectly timed negated attacks filled the MP and it didn't seem... It didn't seem to raise mine up the way I thought that it did. <coughs> maybe that added a little bit? I'll have to keep a closer eye on it, I guess. I'll probably have to backtrack to that other area too afterwards and try and use magic in that same spot because I don't know how I failed to do that before. I meant to try it. That was terrible. <laughs> Quickly forgetting about recently unlocked abilities. I had some sort of thing where I like used it like that or whatever where I was like slightly not on it and I was like, oh, it doesn't work. And I, so I must have just like had some sort of confirmation bias where I was just like, well, obviously it doesn't work the way I thought it did, so it must not work at all. Okay, well, once again, doing it immediately on top of it doesn't seem to actually do anything. And so that's, that's the same way it the same way it didn't do anything last time so I guess I'm maybe it's this little icon I need to use it on instead yeah so that's why I had given up on that earlier I gotta go check out that other area perhaps where it first gave me the magic ability I gotta try and use it there so it seems at its most likely to work in that particular area. So there's this. That did not... I didn't... Ex I thought it was going to automatically teleport me. I didn't think I would have control over it like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it jetpacks you around. And I super botched it. <laughs> that was very ridiculous. Damn it. It's too slow. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying that again because it seems very silly and kind of fun to rip around on that way. So I, I look forward to testing it out. Nice. Nice finishing blow on that one. So there's different... That's... that's the, Oh, I can't believe I was too slow on that one. That one felt so obvious that that was the attack that was coming. Like, I saw it coming. Oh, those were all, like, dead center. Nailed it on that one. But Jesus. Can't believe how badly that went. <sighs> of course. Yeah, too slow on that one, too. I feel like I have to taunt. Declare your victory and recover one MP. Is that it? It'll make enemies mad. Well, I'll try it. Oh, he's pissed. He's so pissed. And I'll just do a regular attack, I guess. But now he's probably going to do, like, extra damage or something, right? There's got to be some sort of trade-off to that. Luckily, he did the type of attack I know how to defend reliably and it's you can see it's like a, a it's draining the anger only lasts for a little while but it doesn't only last one attack so there's kind of a trade-off there maybe trade-off's the wrong word but a little bit it won't always be consistent so the magic that i currently have doesn't do anything specifically here i don't think i have other magic right now it's not the right spot I only have the one magic ability right now. So I need to get up there? Can I climb trees? Let me read this again. If you ever need to relax, it's always nice to dip your toes in the water. 
see why is up with that why does that happen why and why doesn't it always happen does it only happen immediately after reading the sign so dip and then smash the jump button a bunch damn it maybe i need to be walking right, now i just triggered a battle i don't really know what's happening there and i have taken a lot of damage am i taking damage by jumping in the water i don't think so i think that's just for me getting roughed up in battle over the last couple couple matchups there uh, that was pretty weak and now because of that this isn't going to be enough to finish it off either this at least I bet when he has that little health left I could probably do nothing could probably stand there and not attack and I would win that little showdown well so now I can't go back this way and now I don't have the magic that matches this magic marker thing so I'm kind of at a loss If I use the magic and then jump in the water, is that it? Do I, is like the magic happening off screen in some way that I can't, oh, I do have that little floaty with me. So is that a protective thing? It's like that will give me one free bounce. Okay, magic, one floaty thing, run, jump, bounce. Oh my God, did that ever take me forever to figure out? So I, oh, I wasted it. So I got one floaty thing stacked up for me here. I gotta time this just right. That's tricky. Ah, oh, and I overcompensated and I blew it. Okay. I didn't expect that magic was doing something on every one of these little panels. I somehow hadn't noticed the little floaty over my head. I chickened out on that. I chickened out. Ooh, little floaty gem in the corner there. Whoop. Run across. Run and jump. Whew. Hide in the grass. Bailing. Don't want to fight it. Too hurt right now. DC Cola restores some magic. Use it wisely. Well, honestly, right now I'm so injured right now that I think I should just definitely use the Crimbly. That was nice and Crimbly. Uh, and I'm okay on MP for right now. I, hmm, I'm trying to think of a better way, that a better place that I could put my, my face. One thing, <laughs> Phaeton said I cheered when I finally figured that out. One thing I would say that I've seen becoming increasingly common in games that I would put out as a simple recommendation uh, is potentially a streamer streamer UI. And so basically it just, it moves a few things around and then highlights a square that's like this very specifically is a place where you could put your face. So like right now where my health is and everything, maybe, maybe I'd be better off with oh i'm moving the wrong thing <laughs> i would be better off with this tucked in like the bottom corner oh you can see the stream delay there <laughs> if this was tucked in the bottom corner like that maybe it's more out of the way um i hate that it's slightly off center but i does it, I, it, it feels worth it to me i'll move it i'll correct it ever so slightly just nudge it over those few little bits then, then, like, now people for the first time are going to see my money, health, and, and things in the UI there. Um, it would move those slightly to the right and highlight a box that I could put my face there. And then it's like I'm never covering the UI. And it would just be something that you toggle in the options. Maybe I should check and see if that's something that already exists. Maybe I'm recommending something that I've just never checked on. Oh, you can change, you can change to a type of run and walk where it's like you hold the button down. That's nice that you're able to, to control that yourself and everything. Cool. That's just one simple, simple thing. Just, it's such a highly specific feature that I feel like it would be late in dev time. You take the gem into your hands. The air is cool, but it feels like every side of the gem is a different temperature. Wait a second. Oh, do I have to fight the gem? Or fight the spirit of the gem or something? That's just a bunch of fire skull anims. I'm going to do such a big swirly attack against these guys. It's going to be insane and by the way Peyton I respect that you decided to sit back and wait and see if I ever figured that one out on my own it might have to be a case of the first time that 
magic is ever given to you that like maybe there's a stronger hint ah in the area it was given to me it was so clearly there was a thing on the ground that was like this is probably where you're gonna have to use magic because there's nowhere else to go i don't think i any more hand holding was needed i just didn't immediately recognize that something had happened i guess so that was maybe me not the streamer curse you're too busy paying attention to chat and other things and you miss something that should be glaringly obvious to people so I don't know if I could criticize that as like being uh, anything other than a fault of my own you know nicely done great teamwork there 18 health bonus 5 max efficiency bonus 9 raking it in ah damn it but now when I put my face here it's covering up my health and everything um, during the battles and that seems uh, the gem dissolves in soft glowing orange embers that seems more annoying this honestly is probably like the most logical place to stick this because then it's not it might cover my health and MP while I'm navigating the menus and stuff but having that covered in battle seems like a bad oh, nice okay cool that that seems ah! <laughs> okay oh damn it i should have zipped across there now i gotta hop back around on all this it'll be good practice for me maybe shit <laughs> damn it <laughs> what a terrible combination of events that was just now uh but yeah i would rather have health and stuff be visible in this screen because want you guys to have a sense of how the battle is progressing. Whale on him. Oh. Oh, it wasn't because I didn't use my double attack. I was like, oh, I didn't have my usual follow-up. Nah. That was just because I didn't spend, I didn't want to spend the MP on that particular one. Those 100% damage negators. That's what it's all about. Slightly off but should be should be an easy finish up health bonus two efficiency bonus two a little bit there not a crazy amount the upper right corner i guess that's just showing you buttons <laughs> i mean right now there's nothing in the upper left corner either damn it <laughs> oh no you're kidding me um that sucks that was just poorly timed. Now, now I'm, I'm trying to be too hasty with things here, and I'm just doing a terrible job. Take a, take a breath, take a second. Quit playing like a moron. That's, that's my own tip to myself. There, there we have it. Still playing to run past this guy. Ah, caught. Damn it top right would cover the magic shortcuts yeah it doesn't it doesn't seem to cover anything in the the ui either so that probably that probably is a, a fine place to stick it a hammer bot this is new which worries me slightly i'm gonna bust out some big moves to try and end this a little more quickly damn it seeing as uh, i don't entirely know what i'm up against currently damn it I'm not gonna finish off anything this round Oh, I can jump during this as well. So I, I would have just had to have jumped during that. That's the first time jumping has been required as a method of, like, uh, evading. Nice. Okay. Cool. That's my first introduction to that. And I, I, gotta, I gotta get accustomed to it. Luckily, enemies don't seem to ever attack at the same time, and maybe that just hasn't come up yet, and it will later. So it's like you have to jump and do, like, a block at the same time, but it's probably too much. It's probably be too difficult. Okay, there's some pretty good forgiveness there, because I definitely felt like I hit that way too early. Whew. And just commit to trying to finish this guy off. He doesn't have a lot of health. A hammer bot doesn't have a lot of health. Uh, pretty easy to avoid overall. Not not a particularly difficult enemy. All right, let's not screw this up royally this time. Do you know what? I can rock it up this way. That was super efficient, wasn't it? Ah, I couldn't have. 
I'm gonna lose it. I think I could have. Well, shit. Oh, it's quite. It's quite high. I don't know if the platform that I jumped off of would have been high enough for me to sail across that leafy area. That probably, probably wouldn't quite have worked. Now I'm curious though, but I don't feel like going all, damn it, I don't feel like going all the way back to specifically try that one hyper specific thing. Oh, that's not the move I meant to use. Damn it. I don't, I don't usually, I'll try and point this out. Uh, I'll have to point it out the next time it comes up. It's such a lame amount of damage to have dealt. Just a, a particular, like, UI nitpick of my own. Uh, and it specifically is only in a situation where there's only two items in a menu. But when there's... I guess, I guess it tells me... Like, when there's only two colors, you don't know which color is the color that means selected and which one means not selected. So I, like, red appears to be the one that means selected uh, and I can confirm that I guess because it has the description right next to it there but I personally like when there's like a little arrow that moves around like a little triangle that just says this is the one that you're pointing at right now it's just like an easier visual cue it's been a while since you saw me stream yeah I haven't really streamed in a while <laughs> I I good to see it by the way quiz bowl I'll stick I'll stick that in the top right while I'm thinking of it again. Should be fully out of the way of everything up in that corner. I just had a, a couple things that I've been meaning to get around to playing, and it just seemed like, hey, might as well just sit down and uh, share that experience. I could I could try and spread this out over like a multi-episode thing, but I've been having trouble finding time to record, edit, and schedule as is, so it's just easier to to commit for a stream and just get it out there. Share. Share the experience. I'm very much into this. It's very, I guess in a word, overwhelming that games like this and her loving embrace are coming out or being developed at the same time because they're two of like the most exciting RPGs I've probably seen in a long time. Uh, I've loved a lot about both of them. And... I, I've only played such a limited amount of both, and they're both kickstarting, I gotta support them both. <laughs> and I'm just very excited. It's an exciting time for indie devs. There's some cool, cool stuff being worked on right now. Oh, for the color, for, I wonder, I guess, I guess it occurred to me again for a second there that maybe the arrow would also help if people are colorblind, but I mean when it's white and red like that, uh, it should be distinct enough that I don't think it would affect colorblind people, but it might might in some small way finally cross that hey i got i got one more doodly <laughs> i didn't like uh run out of it or whatever I, I thought it was only good for one hop and a skip maybe that one's uh, a special one that allows for an extra jumper ability hammer bot fire skull and undead Yes. Love when that one comes up. Okay, that one definitely for sure filled up my MP when, when looking out for it there. Now, the hammer bots, not much to worry about. So I, I'll focus, focus my efforts on these guys for sure. And magic, nice. The magic does uh, like a cross in a way that I can hit everything. All right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that, that always comes in quicker than I expect. Honestly, if you, if you pull it off, like, hey, it hurt him. I guess it, I guess the other time I fought one of those, the, the other enemy on the screen was one of these fire skulls. And since it's like a flying enemy, it didn't damage it. So attacking that thing last is like a legit strategy. So it can help you kill the other standing things that you're that you're currently fighting. That's super. That's a super satisfying discovery, honestly. I, I think I'm sitting on so much money right now. I've done a ton of battles. 203. I've done a ton of battles with a lot of efficiency bonuses. I might be able to hop across on that table, but obviously uh, my remaining jumping thing is meant to take me across to here. So I'll follow up on that. Oh, there is a you are here marker. No, maybe not. I don't know what that is then. Because that's, that's obviously the chest 
that I'm working my way towards. It's like, I, I don't know what that is. That might have been back where that leaf climbing leaf thing was. Hmm. Don't know how to get to that still. Trying to, trying to like fully wrap my head around this map. Haven't quite figured it out. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> 100 gold, whoa! That's a pretty big payout. I'm kind of earning a lot of money. So that thing does provide two, two jump acrossers. In this particular example, at least. Oh, it's an HP and an MP filler. I wasn't sure what that second little thing was. I guess they're both little helpful flowers. This is probably towards another one of these, uh, the gems to be collected. Oh, we have another one of these memories or like visions into the other world as well. The air feels thin. It's a little hard to breathe in here. You can hear what sounds like someone exhaling a deep trembling breath. Oh, we're not getting like a full, full on argument this time around. It's a little more simple. And a new power has been realized. Okay, here's where the leaf thing is finally going to come in. Maybe I can act as like a, a leaf blower. <laughs> I don't know how else to word it, but yeah, I feel like that's. No, I kind of was curious if it would work like this. Based on the one particular layout I had seen, it seemed like a possibility. You like full-on splatoon yourself through this stuff. What happens if I go across like this? Nope. <laughs> okay, but I can jump out. Oh, and you like launch out when you jump. So I jump. That's cool. That's super cool. And it takes me... Okay, what if I bury myself? Is there anything hidden here, maybe? It's nothing, nothing on the map. I guess it's just an excuse to play around with that skill or whatever. Uh, it doesn't seem to actually be anything out there. Oh, I did that really poorly. Got to build up the momentum a little bit more, perhaps. Time that jump better. Nice. But you can also like climb up walls and stuff. There's some dope puzzles going on in this game. You take the gem into your hands. The air's cool. Wait a second. Oh, I should have collected the MP flower too. I didn't notice it there at first. Damn it. A cube bot. I wonder what his his deal is gonna be then. Oh, it seems it seems like my attack thing is narrower versus this guy. Like my range of what will land uh, a strong attack against him is a little less than it normally had been. Press and hold down to hide in the ground to avoid attacks. This drains the leaf meter. To refill leaf meter, use the leaf magic in battle or rest at a comfort station. Okay. This is going to be very particular then, isn't it? Uh, I did it way too early. Damn it. I did that way too early too. Oh, that was terribly done. Terribly done. All right. Well, now I got to try and use the leaf magic in battle to try and fill that up a little bit and, and get a sense of it. Oh, he's turning red. Um, he's entering like a second boss stage, perhaps. Oh, you can use either or. I thought it could only be the one I had equipped. That's cool. Fill one third of the leaf meter. Oh, it doesn't actually do damage. It just fills the meter. Okay, then. And... Bet. Oh, he, they shot each other there. That was awesome. That was very <laughs> satisfying. Let's go <laughs> in, the comic, uh, in the comments there. Kicking ass. Me and this sword buddy of mine. Excellent stuff. The gem dissolves into soft glowing red embers. Ooh. And. And I don't know what this is. Hello? Oh, weird. I can, I can use it. I can use it outside of the leaf area. And I like, it only lasts for a second. But it like lets you prepare yourself you'll be like ready to to move into the leaves before you've even actually you don't have to be standing on them to to start using that so i could like turn it on here and then jump across it didn't quite work how i thought it might have hmm don't know what these are but i guess i'm taking them with me <laughs> there's like no way it isn't a thing that i need to do 
now that I've started doing it. So I'll keep a very close eye out for more of them. And I gotta, I gotta make sure I go back to that other area. Is it worth it to go back there immediately? There's like a chest up there that I get to collect. I think I, I think I should probably go check that out. And four? Is four what I'm working towards? Oh, thought I could maybe pull off a big jump like that. If I leave this area, am I gonna lose these little things? That's the main thing I'm, I'm uncertain about. I do. Are they waiting for me on the other side? Damn, I'm gonna have to like recollect them when I come back. But I do want to go quickly take care of this particular little thing here. It's just a little bit back, isn't it? I'm going to the wrong... Am I going the wrong way? I haven't gone that way yet. I have, but like I obviously haven't been able to do the leaf puzzle. Now I gotta remember where the hell that is. Ah, it's a bit further back than I remembered it being. This is what I was trying to get towards. Oh, I gotta go all the way back around, actually. There's, uh, there's a bit more to this than I remembered to, to pull this off properly. Damn it. That was really poorly. That was just dumb. That was just dumb of me. Oh, good. This is like a safe zone where I don't trigger enemies by falling into the water here it doesn't look like so that's that's a relief because that was terrible ah i still i still have three stacked up against me shit don't have that much health really slightly worrying just got your game looks good it is neat thanks for joining spitfire good to see ya <laughs> I've had some difficulties figuring out some of the more puzzling elements and everything, but I'm getting better at pulling off the uh, the attacks and everything. This catch is the one, the only one I think I've reliably been able to get a four four combo out of. That definitely goes the best for me. Yes, so satisfying. <laughs> oh, and there's my my like leaf meter is uh is above my MP and HP and everything now too. So that's something I like permanently have doesn't just come up in like specific related battles or whatever hmm i was wondering if i could use the leaf thing when i was on like autumn autumn e trees far out no i kept timing the jump poorly <sighs> and then i just walked off the edge the precision needed for that jump is uh is tricky how did i do it earlier how did i do it before when it when I was just goofing around and the stakes were low and I didn't care. Because that's just how it goes, obviously. Obviously you're better at that sort of stuff when there's nothing on the line. Fucking come on. That's such dog shit. <laughs> Not the game's fault. Maybe a little. <laughs> that's... That was... That killed me a little inside. Just ever so slightly, you know? I guess I'll take care of this guy first since he'll be nice and relatively quick and easy to deal with. Just put him down and, and be done with it. This I'm a little bit more worried about, especially since I don't have... Ugh, way too early. I don't have my leaf ability to duck out of the way or anything. And if he, if he, it's ever the style where they both attack at the same time, I kind of need the leaf ability, honestly. So I should maybe try and uh, charge that back up a little bit for that like specific instance where this thing tries to use that. Which, maybe he turns red. That's like a signal that that's going to be the next thing that he does. So if he's turning red like that, that makes me think he's going to do the one where they both attack at the same time. Okay, so that's like a, that's like a tell. Something that I have to go off of. I feel like a genius that I figured that out <laughs> in only uh, after only seeing it once. Now it remains to be seen how often he does it. I get I get one more chance here where I get to commit the sword. He probably does it every like second attack. Ah, way too early and bam, slightly too early. 
not crazy, but I'm definitely getting my health chipped away at pretty damn hard. I don't wanna, don't want that to last much longer. Now I'm gonna wish I hadn't uh, backtracked to this section for this one tiny little thing. Oh, I didn't charge up my leaf ability. So now I have to get hit by one of these. That was, uh, that was a mistake, not charging that up. Really opened myself up to that. <sighs> Damn. Not very efficient. You're kidding me. Did I do this an entirely different way before? Is this, like, not where I had jumped from? I, uh, am so unsure of why I can't do this at all right now. One more attempt. Fuck off. I don't- I could have sworn I jumped up to there before. Didn't I? Hadn't I done that, like, way, way earlier? I don't know why I can't even come close all of a sudden. It sucks. Not worth, uh, committing any more time to. I, whatever's in that chest, I guess I'm writing it off. Which is too bad. But, uh, probably don't want to commit all my time to trying one little thing like that. slow. Ah, shit, and I fainted. Well, then. Do I try and go explore a different area? I don't know. The game is really cool, but I've clearly only, like, discovered half of the things that lead to, like, the end of the demo or whatever. Um, uh, I guess I, I might just leave it there. It, it, it's just a good reason to explore the, the art style, the music, the gameplay, the combat, the puzzle mechanics. There's like a lot of things to be discovered in this game. It clearly has a lot to offer. It's going to be like kind of a must-see Kickstarter campaign, I think. I, unfortunately, I'm just like, I don't have the time. I do have to be somewhere. And not like immediately, but I don't have the time to finish the demo, I don't think, at the rate I'm going currently. Which kind of stinks. I was really hoping I could squeeze it all into like this little little window that I had. Uh, but yeah, it is a free demo. So I'll definitely have a link to that for people to go check it out for themselves. I'm going to be looking, watching so closely uh, for this game for like a full release and everything. It's just, just incredible <laughs> in like a lot of different ways. And a little frustrating streak there. I'm going to run over there again right now. I'm going to try that jump once more, and maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I never did do this jump. Maybe it's not a thing. But I'm, I'm going to damn well try. Oh, how could you? <laughs> just chucked myself straight in the fire there, just out of frustration. Because why not? Oh, I have the wrong magic equipped. Well, there. Now, now I've totally just botched it all. And I'm definitely shutting it down. <laughs> That's all my fault. The game is great. The game is incredible. I'm very, very excited about what, what they have to show here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you to Peyton for swinging by and and uh, sitting back and helping in some very small, appreciable ways. So thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, and I'll see you guys again soon. Make sure you go check it out for yourself. I'll, I'll make sure to add like a link to the Kickstarter when it's available. And, and any other relevant links that'll help you help you follow this game. I'll, I'll make sure that's there for you. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you again soon.